Hello, my name is Stephen Holm and I'm with Home Grounds and today we're talking about how to make nitro cold brew right at home. Nitro cold brew has quickly become extremely popular over the last five years or so for a pretty good reason. It's cold brew coffee, which people already really enjoy because it's gonna be less acidic, a little bit smoother, but then it's infused with nitrogen, similar to say a pint of Guinness, and so that's gonna give it this sort of creamy mouthfeel. It's gonna look really pretty, have that nice head of foam on the top, and just be really refreshing. And guess what? It's pretty easy to make at home. Okay, so first thing you're gonna need in order to make nitro cold brew is the cold brew part of that. So luckily I've got some right here, thanks to our previous video on making cold brew at home. You can use any way to make cold brew. It does not matter, just any cold brew. Next, we are gonna need some nice quality drinking water to dilute that concentrate. Uh, this is water. It was empty, I put water in it. Now lastly, we need a way to nitrogenize this cold brew. And you sort of have two options at home, or I guess three if you count buying an entire keg system with a big old nitrogen tank, which you very well could do at home, and if you do, more power to you. But also you can buy little home kegs in order to make cold brew. They make those specifically for cold brew or they have some for beer too. Or you can get something like this. This is a nitrogen specific kind of whipped cream like canister. This one in particular is made by ISI, ISI, ISI that company. There are obviously other manufacturers of sort of this exact thing. You just have to make sure that you are buying one specifically for nitrogen. Now, ISI and other companies make cheaper canisters like this for whipped cream, but those are going to use different gas canisters. So this one uses nitrogen chargers is what they're called. So we got these things versus whipped cream uses nitrous oxide, which is not the same thing. This is just N2 nitrogen, and that's what you need in order to make nitro cold brew. These are also going to have a slightly skinnier tip nozzle that the cold brew is gonna be coming out of, and that encourages that nice head and cascading foam that you get in the beverage. So that's everything you need. Let's talk about how to actually make this, and it is very simple. So this canister has a max capacity of one liter, and so we are going to fill it up with one liter's worth of cold brew. If you are using a concentrate, find out what ratio of concentrate to water you would like to use. For mine, I like a one-to-one -one ratio, so I'm going to do two cups of concentrate and two cups of water. Once again, I promise this is actually water. But I guess you could use something else. I don't know how cold brew with like vodka, or in this case sake, I don't know how that would taste. Try it at your own risk. Oh, there's a dog hair in here. Leo. So we have one liter in there. Make sure it's on there nice and tight. And you just grab one of your nitro cartridges. There it is. There is now nitrogen infused into your cold brew. We're gonna shake this a little bit, really get that mixed in there. In the moment of truth. And that is some beautiful nitro cold brew. That's really good. It's understandable why nitro cold brew has gotten so popular. It takes a beverage that people are already really enjoying and just elevating it to an even higher experience. Infusing nitrogen just creates this whole different mouthfeel experience. It's really velvety and smooth and you get this nice head of foam on top. It's just really enjoyable to drink. And it's incredibly easy to make at home. Sure, these cartridges are a little expensive up front, and you do have to, you know, keep buying chargers, but you are making a whole liter of nitro cold brew at a time, 
So the cost at home really isn't that bad. And I would say it's definitely worth it if you are drinking a lot of this stuff. So that's gonna be it for today. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial of how to make nitro cold brew at home. If you have any further questions, please let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And until next time, happy brewing.